girls and boys, how are you doing? Father Nile here, out on the beautiful lakes of Killarney. The last time I was on a lake was back in the autumn time, and it was out in Israel, out in the Holy Land, and I was out on the very famous Sea of Galilee out on the sea that we've all heard of from the Bible, of Jesus calling the fishermen to be his disciples, and they all being in a boat together at a different time, and the wind rising, and Jesus calming the storms. And I think of that being out on the water here today. But I also think of a different faith story in being here on the lakes, because I think of a very famous saint. Ye know the saints very well. The six last children will know of the saints through their choosing a confirmation name, but also the children through the Grown Love series will know of the different saints of Mother Teresa of Calcutta, of St. Vincent de Paul, of St. Teresa of Avila, of St. Francis of Assisi. The children will know well about St. Bridget and her cross of rushes, and St. Patrick with his shamrock representing three persons and one God, Father, Son, and Spirit but there's a very famous saint connected with the waters, and he's a very local saint, Saint Brendan. Saint Brendan was born in Tralee, baptised in Artfort, and Mount Brandon is named after him. But Saint Brendan isn't known for what happened on the land. He was more known for what happened on the sea, because to give him his full title, he is called Saint Brendan the Navigator. The navigator being a fancy name for a boatman, for a sailor. And the story is that St. Brendan headed out on a voyage. Let me tell you about it because it's a fantastic story. Legend has it that St. Brendan got a dream, being told to go in search of a promised land. And in going in search of the promised land, it was a land where all the rocks were like jewels, where all the fruit on the trees were most beautiful to eat, all the flowers were in full bloom the whole time, the air was warm, it was summer every day. It was a paradise. But importantly in the story of St. Brendan, it is about realising that the paradise that he was looking for was the paradise to come closer to the Lord. And in it all, he is a fantastic saint for these COVID times, because as we know, with all our restrictions, we can't meet our friends, we can't travel very far, and older people have been asked to stay at home. But then with St. Brendan, we hear about him going on the voyage with his friends, about they going on a long, long journey, far, far away, and about he doing all of that at the age of 93. There was no lockdown on St. Brendan. And in it all, the story has him going off on the voyage. And if you were to link up different parts of the journey, it seems that St. Brendan got to Scotland and the monks, got to the Faroe Islands and the sheep there, got to Iceland and saw a volcano, got to Greenland and saw the icebergs. And legend has it that St. Brendan got to America. Now, did he or didn't he? Not quite too sure, except that I can tell you that a very famous thing happened many years later. St. Brendan was back in about 1500 years ago. But only about 50 years ago, there was a man by the name of Tim Severn, who decided he had read so much about the story of St. Brendan, and indeed the story of St. Brendan is known all across Europe. So famous is the legend. And Tim Severn said, I'd love to try it, to see would it be possible for he and a few friends to get into a small boat, only a bit bigger than this, and to see if they could make off the different lands and could they make America. And Tim Severin found out that yes, it was possible. I'll show you a little clip of the setting out on that and what he and his friends endured along the way.
And that was Tim Severin and his journey across the Atlantic 1500 years after St. Brendan. I tell you all of this because St. Brendan is a most fantastic model for ourselves in our own lives. He is the patron saint of the Diocese of Kerry. And there is something about the voyage of St. Brendan that reminds us that in life, we need the help of friends with us. And that life, it's as much about the journey as the destination. Because St. Brendan headed away, we were told that he was on his voyage for seven years. Seven whole years they were out in the boats in search of the promised land and coming back. But they were only out in that promised land for 40 days before he got a dream to say, Brendan, it's time to go home. It's about the journey and it's about how we are on it. As we all know in our own lives, we can be dreaming about going to different places. But happiness isn't just found in other places. Happiness needs to be found here, wherever you are, in whatever you're living with. And I pray that you will find happiness. And I pray that the blessing of the Lord may be upon you. And I pray that like St. Brendan, that you will have the help of friends. And I pray that the waters will always be as calm as this. And I pray that it will not be long before you will be out on the waters of Killarney and have the opportunity to feel the wind in your face and to have an enjoyable time here. But importantly, I pray that it won't be long before you will be in prayer, asking for the help of St. Brendan, who said, protect me, Lord, for the sea is vast and my boat is very small. And there's a lovely line told of St. Brendan when the disciples were caught in fog and they had no idea what way they should be going, not a clue, and they didn't know whether to go left or right. And St. Brendan said to the disciples to take in your oars and to cast loose your sails because the Lord will direct your boat wherever he wishes. May we have the ability to let go and to trust in the Lord to guide us at all times and at this time. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Girls and boys, mind yourselves. May St. Brendan the Navigator protect you. I'll chat to you later. God bless. Bye bye.